Now we're back to Frogner Saturn for the last of the four-man bombs. These are longer and speedier affairs than the two men, and we watch them now as they start going on down the course. Straightaways, these sleds can hit up to 80 miles an hour. Up at the top, four innkeepers from Garmish, Parton, Care, Kentucky. Shine them up, boss. That's going to be tough to beat. For years, the four man Bob has been something in which the United States has had almost unchallenged supremacy. Now our superiority was seriously threatened. Go! And four lads from up in the north country of New York State took off. Using every trick in the book that they learned from years of practice on our own Olympic run at Mount Van Hovenberg, built for the 1932 Winter Olympics, they roared down the course, cutting the corners, getting extra bursts of speed, and at the end we watched the time, one minute, 17 and 44 one hundredths. They missed it. 1686 still stood. There was one more chance. The other sled still hadn't gone down, but it began to snow. And that means a slow track. They gave it everything they had. The crowd watched anxiously as they started on down. But as they came on in, the score still stood. Their dog was barking in triumph. Germany first, America second, and handshakes all around. Former enemies on the battlefield, now friends on the field of sport. The Austrian team went home to lunch, and our friend Bruce was just finishing dessert. That night, in the stadium, Medals were given out to the Bob winners, quite a group of them. 